Hey guys, happy March. Today we are putting together my spring palette basket. I know we technically have a couple more weeks of winter, but I am very ready for spring. So we are going to go through my collection and pick out all of my favorite spring palettes. Spring is typically when I start incorporating more color into my looks. I love especially green in the spring, yellow, and any pastel, like soft color, I love this time of year. I've actually already selected the palettes and I'm wearing two of them on my eyes right now. And I did film this look for a YouTube short, so that'll be up soon. And I love this lip color so much. This is the New Makeup Revolution lipstick in the shade Vibe Red. This is kind of, it kind of makes me think of Bite Stinger, but just a little bit more saturated. It's been a while since I've worn a bold red, but this one I'm really liking and I feel like it makes my teeth look more white. Anyway, so this right here is the basket that we're gonna fill up. This, I, I got this from Dollar Tree. They have really cute baskets. This is what we're gonna fit the palettes into. So typically I pick about 10 to 15 palettes. These are the palettes that I want to make sure I'm focusing on this season, but they're not the only palettes I'm allowing myself to use. I'm still going to reach into my other palettes from time to time, I'm sure, but these are gonna be the main palettes that I'm focusing on and trying to make sure that I use all of them at least once this season. If you saw my depotting video where I depotted my last two BH Cosmetics palettes, I put together these two spring magnetic palettes using just a mix of my singles and depotted shades so these will definitely be going in the basket. I made like a green and earthy one and then a peach and blue one. And the idea behind these palette basket videos is not to tell you that you need to go out and buy the palettes that I'm putting in my spring basket, but more so to inspire you to shop your own stash and pull out those palettes that you are feeling excited to use this season. Also, if you are living somewhere where you're entering fall right now, I will link my fall palette basket down below if you're looking for some inspiration for fall palettes. So with all that being said, let's go fill up my basket with some palettes. Ooh, okay, I am so, so excited. I already see so many palettes that I can't wait to use for spring. Let's start with one. This is like such a classic spring palette in my collection, the Elf Earth and Ocean palette. Unfortunately, this was discontinued, but this is such a great like cross between colorful and neutral. I, especially for spring, I love this side of the palette. I love the greens and yellows and earthy tones. Hey baby, no, no. She wants to go like behind the drawer and I don't want, I don't want her to do that right now. I love these earthy greens and golds. I just think this is a great like intro to spring kind of color story. And I love the blue side as well. It's got so many different tones of blue. There's like a more turquoise, some really soft baby blues these like more jewel tone blues so just a lot you can do with this palette i'm still so sad that they discontinued this palette but it is so good and if you have it highly recommend pulling it out this season last year i think i used this palette a ton in like march and april so hopefully that will be the case again this year while we're pulling green palettes definitely have to bring this one in it's just the nomad okavango safari this came out last like late spring i think it was but I mean, this is so, this is almost like an expansion of the earthy side of Elf, Earth, and Ocean. You see what I mean? Yeah, if I cover up the blues, you kind of see what I mean. Like, it, it's like, if, if this side of this palette were bigger, I feel like you would get the Nomad Okavango palette. I especially love this middle row with all the olive greens. But outside of that row, I mean, you see you have a lot of just neutral and warm shades. I love that they added a rose gold in here and then the zebra shade actually goes on silver. So I just feel like those two shades really um, expand the possibilities of what you can do with this. So very much looking forward to using this again. Okay, other palettes that have a lot of green in them. Let's see. This one I definitely want to put in also just because the packaging looks very springy to me. This is the ColourPop Sweet As Can Be palette. It's from their Winnie the Pooh collection. How cute is this outer packaging? And yeah, I mean, this obviously screams springtime. So we're definitely putting this in. This also does have a couple of greens, lots of earthy tones as well. I love this mustard yellow. And this is another very versatile palette. I feel like like this top row, you have a lot of your earthy tones. In the bottom row, I love these pink and rosy shades. Just a great mix of shades for spring. It's also been a while since I've used this palette, so really want to get reacquainted with it. In a similar vein or kind of a similar vibe to that palette is the Wet n Wild 
Call Me Sunshine. This one is a bit more monochrome, got a lot of like golden and amber tones in here, but definitely just makes me think of warmer weather, and I like the kind of olivey green undertone to a lot of these shades, so I think this will make a great standalone palette, but also a good companion palette to some of these other more green palettes that I've picked out. Another palette I've been saving for spring, I received this in PR in the fall, but I just wasn't really feeling this color story. This is the Alter Ego Sakura palette. Unlike some of my other green-based palettes, this one has a lot more cool-toned green in it. Lots of minty colors. This one I think is meant to dupe the Natasha Denona Retro Glam palette, I think. Whichever one has like the pinks and greens in it, but I actually think the layout of this one makes a lot more sense than the Natasha Denona one. Not that you can't, I mean you can always rearrange the shades in Natasha's palettes, but um, I like that they arranged it with like the greens over here, the browns and taupes over here, and then the pinks in the middle. So you can stick to one color family if you want, or you can mix them, but yeah, I just think it makes a lot of sense, and I'm really, yeah, I want to do a pink and green look with this. I think that would be so cute for the spring. So yeah, I've only, I think I've only used this palette once so far when I first got it, just to kind of test it out, but I really haven't used most of the shades in here, so definitely planning on giving this a good test run soon. Also, how gorgeous is that packaging? Okay, so we have five here in the basket so far. I'm gonna try to have no more than like, no more than 15. So we have a good ways to go. Like I can definitely add many, many more in. So this basket, by the way, I think this is going to carry us through May. And then beginning of June is when I'll put together my summer basket. So I'm keeping in mind, like a lot of my palettes, I feel like fit for both spring and summer, but probably gonna save a lot of like the really colorful ones for summertime. One that I've always loved for spring, I don't really know why, but the Anastasia Norvina palette, I feel like is just perfect for spring. I love like the pinks and purples. There's just like a few little pops of color, but the palette still leans very neutral. And I have some big goals for this palette this year. This was in my winter basket as well, but I really want to hit pan on this incense shade. And I also would like to use up base. I just repressed this shade, if you saw, in my recent makeup reset vlog. So there's really not much left of that shade, but I want to use that up and hit pan on incense. So just want to like keep working with this palette. I've already used it a good handful of times so far this year, and I just, I love it. So I think it's going to be really fun and ethereal for the springtime. Also, these two palettes from Flower Beauty, these I also bought in the fall, and again, I just wasn't really into these colors in the fall and winter, but now that we're into spring, I think these are just perfect. So these are their newer additions to the Lights palette line, Coastal and Garden Lights. So this is Coastal. This is the one that actually has some softer shimmers in it. These are more satiny than a lot of the other Lights palettes. Um, this one right here is definitely very metallic still, but I just like the kind of softer vibe of this one. So really looking forward to using that. And I love the very light pastel tones in here. And I actually feel like this would make a really great companion to the Sakura palette. Yeah, these definitely work together well, especially with like the mint and the pink. I think that would make a great companion. Then we have Garden Lights. This one actually was in my winter palette basket, and I did use it a couple times, but I think the spring is really when this palette is going to shine. And while we're talking about companion palettes, I actually think Garden Lights and Norvina go well together. Yeah, okay. Definitely going to have to try pairing those as well. And of course, spring is also the season of pastel, and I'm definitely going to have to add this one in. This is the Clarity Somer Amazing palette. Funnily, this was my most used palette in 2023, mainly because it was in my project pan. But this is definitely the most pastel palette I own. I love that it's half shimmer and half matte. Some of the shades have kind of started to get a little bit crumbly. Like, I had to actually repress this one back down because it got super crumbly. This one also is like missing a chunk. I don't know. I hope this palette can hold itself together because I have heard people have had issues with clarity shadows breaking kind of easily. So knock on wood, but I'm hoping this can stay together. But this is obviously a no-brainer for my spring palette basket. So let's put that one in, of course. Ooh, another one that I feel like I'm always saying is a perfect spring palette. And now 
it's spring, so it's time to use it. This is the Ace Boutte Aura palette. This one is very outside my comfort zone, but I actually have come to love this color combination. I never in a million years would have thought that I would like this color combo, like purple, pink, and green, but I've actually made some really pretty looks with this palette, and even these colors at the bottom, like I thought these were kind of ugly at first, like these sort of pukey green shades, but they can actually be really pretty on the eyes. So yeah, again, this is another palette. There's just a lot you can do with it. Like you can stick to one color family or you can mix them all together. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. It challenges me. So let's add that one in. This one is probably going to be in both my spring and summer palette rotations, but this is the Odin's Eye Sea Talk palette, which was in collaboration with Lauren May Beauty. This came out last year, but this palette is so much fun for like dipping your toe into color. Um, but I also love that it has some neutral shades over here, some both cool and warm neutrals. So really just, even though it's a pretty small palette, there's a lot you can do with it. I love this bright yellow. Um, the shimmers in here are just gorgeous. So this one I definitely want to pull in for spring. I think I'll also just keep it in throughout the summer because, yeah, this is just a great palette for warm weather. This one I had in for like the latter part of winter, but I'm going to put it back in for spring. This is another one from Alter Ego. This is their Coastal palette. This one is meant to dupe um, Huda Beauty Rose Quartz, I believe it is. Lots of neutrals in here, which is good because I do want to have some options for neutral shadows in this basket. But it also has some really pretty pops of pastel, like these pastel pinks over here. And then this is like a pink and blue duochrome, which I also just think is so pretty for spring. So this is going to join the basket as well. This is my custom lethal palette that I put together about a year and a half ago. This one I think is beautiful all year round and that's kind of how I designed it to be but lots of pops of color in here including quite a few pastels like this periwinkle. These two multi-chromes up here are just beautiful and then the yellow and green definitely make me think of spring. So I'm going to put this one in. I'm always trying to use this as much as possible. So let's add this one in. I definitely want to pick at least one palette from my Ace Boutte floral collection because, I mean, hello, flowers, spring. Um, I think the one I want to pick is probably Begonia. This one has a lot of green in it again. I'm definitely geared towards green this time of year, but this one has, again, a mix of greens and pinky red shades actually kind of a similar but like less saturated vibe to the Aura palette also from Ace Boutte. See what I mean? Like the Begonia palette up here, this one I would say it's a bit more muted but they have a similar vibe. This one also doesn't have as much purple. So yeah, two options for like a berry and green color story which will be nice. I think those are all of the large sized palettes that I'm gonna put in. I also have just a couple of little mini babies that I want to add. Let's do, yeah, this one definitely want to add in. This is the Hard Candy Buzz Quad, a really cute yellow quad. I love yellow eyeshadow in the spring as well. Um, so let's put that in because I don't really have a whole lot of yellow yet in this basket. Because I didn't use this one in the winter as much as I wanted to, I'm going to toss this one in my spring rotation. This is the Quo Stacked Eyeshadow in Snow Cone. Seeing as how there is still snow happening, even in March, I think um, this will still be appropriate, at least for the next few weeks. But I think this mint green in here also makes this quad great for springtime. So it's just got a little pop of color, and then the other shades in here are like neutral, taupey brown shades. So I am going to put this in the rotation. Hopefully I will use it at least a couple times, because I have not been using this nearly enough. And then the other little mini trio I want to put in is this one from Kaja. This is their Beauty Bento in Peach Madeline, which is obviously peachy, which is perfect also for this year's Pantone color of the year, um, Peach Fuzz. This is like the perfect little mini peach trio. So that will be, I've already used this a couple times. I really love, really love these shades. Okay, last one, last one. <laughs> I'm going to put this one in as well. I think I've got probably way too many palettes already in my basket, but this one is just so fun. It's really just a bunch of toppers. Like, that's how I think of these Unleashia palettes. This is the Glitterpedia number one. 
yeah, lots of just really pretty sparkly shades. You can definitely get a standalone look with this palette as well. I mean, it is all shimmer, but it does have like a slightly mid-toned brown in it, so you can get a little bit of depth, but I love just like the soft pink frosty topper shades. I think this is also good as we're like transitioning from winter to spring. A lot of kind of like snowy sparkly shades, so I'm just going to toss this one in as well because I've really been enjoying it recently. And I think... Okay, I think that'll do it for this drawer. It's always so hard to stop myself. Like, I would love to just keep pulling palettes, but I need to keep it somewhat reasonable. So, all right, let me organize these, these palettes. Yay, okay, this actually fit really well in this basket so that i think was the perfect number of palettes and then with the mini palettes like quads and trios that i chose these i'm just going to keep in my everyday makeup drawer because i feel like they get kind of lost if i put them in the basket so i'm going to keep those out in my everyday makeup drawer so that i can remember to use them but ah uh, i'm so excited for spring kitty who is so cute oh my goodness I am so needy today. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me curate my spring palette basket. Let me know down below what is your favorite throwback palette to reach for in the spring. But I think that about wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do also have a Patreon and a channel membership if you're interested in getting some extra content from me while also supporting my channel. Otherwise, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will talk to you again very soon in my next video. Bye!